you know, I'm just proud of the way that I didn't, you know, throw the game and, and not allow myself to be at my best. I made sure that I was at my best there because a lot can affect the results from uh, the group. So, you know, James or Ravi could, could top the group now. So, for me, I made sure that I made it hard for whoever was going to top the group and I didn't, you know, let, you know, an easy ride for Mickey there. I made sure that I worked hard to, you know, to, to change the outcome. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it was a decent performance, but uh, unfortunately it, it didn't really matter in the end. Like you said, even though you haven't been at your best and your mind's not been here, can you still look back and think, what if? Because you still created chances in every game. Yeah, it's all what ifs, what, you know, ifs and buts. But, uh, you know, it's the first uh, tournament I've not really made the quarterfinals in a long time. So, you know, it's not going to carry on forever, is it? You're not always going to make the quarterfinals. Sometimes you have to take it on the chin and accept that you're not going to make the quarterfinals of every single major tournament. And uh, this one weren't for me, but... Uh, what don't kill you makes you stronger. So, uh, you know, no disappointment. I am disappointed, but I won't worry about it too much. I'll just focus on the next one because there's plenty more tournaments in the future. Was there ever a doubt that you weren't going to come here and try and defend your championship? Uh, not not particularly. If my son would have, would have gone into hospital, I wouldn't have been here. That's for sure. I'd have pulled out. There's, there's no doubt about that. He's, uh, he's, he's slowly but surely getting better. He's not getting worse. But uh, he, well, I was doing an exhibition on Thursday and uh, I had to rush home because he really went well. And, uh, you know, it was... Uh, touch and go whether it would be like I'd have been travelling each day to, to come here but you know he, he's not going to hospital or anything which is the most important thing because if he had of I wouldn't have been here but uh, you know he's slowly but surely finding his way now so uh, you know it, it's good and he's the most important thing darts is the most important thing family is of course but uh, I'm glad that he's getting back Luke thanks for your time thank you um, Luke it's obviously been a tough couple of weeks for yourself but how proud of you the, the performance you put up there tonight yeah, very. You know, I was, uh, you know, determined to not throw the towel in and, and just accept defeat again. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I put in a decent performance and allowed the, the, the outcome of the group to be decided on fairness. So, uh, you know, it's important whoever wins out of Rowby and, and Wade could end up topping the group. So, you know, it wouldn't, would be an injustice if I didn't turn up tonight and give it my all. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I turned up today and thought, you know, I'm going to go up there and I'm not going to bow out on losing every game. I want to win a game. So, uh, yeah, really proud of that one, and it was a decent performance, but, uh, you know, it's been an unpredictable group, but fair play to all the guys that are, well, Mickey that's through, and good luck to the, the other one that gets through as well. That's all, Luke. Thanks for your time. Thank you. I guess tonight you just want to get home, and that's, the, that's probably how you felt for the last couple of days anyway. Yeah, I can go home tonight, that's the main thing. I can drive home tonight and uh, and get, get home in the morning to, to be there for my son, which is obviously the most important thing. Uh, but, you know, darts is a massive part of my life as well, and, uh, it's, you know, I love playing in major tournaments, of course, my mind wasn't 100% fully focused, but you know that sometimes it's unfortunate timing, and uh, you know I, was, I still didn't play m my worst tournament. I felt like I played okay, uh, just not my best. But you know that's one of them to take on the chin, and you move forward, and uh, we look forward to the next one. And you know I've got two massive tournaments to defend, so I'll be looking forward to that. Thank you. Luke, really appreciate you talking to us. I know you'd rather not have the break, but now there is quite a gap between here and the Player Championship Finals. How much help do you think that will give you just to? recharge, refresh and get back stronger. Yeah, I mean, it's true. You'd rather not have the break, but when the break comes, it's like a blessing in disguise. I think this could be the longest break I've had in about 16 months. So it'd probably do me the world of good, um, spend some time with my family and, uh, you know, to reassess and, and maybe just get on the practice board like I usually do, to be honest. I've not really practiced that much at home. You know, usually you're away so much that you're just practicing on, on the go, you know, exhibitions all this type of stuff. So maybe get back to that little practice regime and I look forward to you know being back and playing the players championships and in the worlds and a few exhibitions in between there because I love them. Uh, so yeah, you know, it's gonna be a nice nine days at Antibus, I'm really gonna look forward to it.